So I said a few times I was going to do a video on this subject um, and uh, I've had a few requests from various places about this now because people have been asking questions about them. Um, so which is head collars for dogs. Um, so I don't generally use harnesses with my guys um, for general lead walking um, because we use the harnesses when we go dry land mushing um, and I don't want them to get mixed signals of when they're in harness when they can and can't pull. Um, so we have a very definite line between I'm wearing a harness I can pull, I'm not wearing a harness, um, I can't, basically. But the head collars gives you extra control. Um, so especially when you've got big, powerful dogs, um, if you're either walking multiples of them at once, for example, you know, if I take more than one of these guys out at once, that's more than my own body weight's worth of dog, and they are far stronger than I am. Um, so obviously the head collars give you that extra control, just in case something happens, you know, there are always idiots with their dogs out of control, off lead, running up. Some of them are not as friendly as their owners think they are. Um, sometimes there's rabbits that are idiots and just dart out in front of the dogs when they, you know, you're know, you like a foot away. Um, and with all the mud and things like that at the moment, obviously, you know, that, that can be quite um, dangerous. Um, and I also have two very messed up knees, so I don't need any extra um, risk there when it comes to, to walking and things like that with them. Um, so Bella's going to uh, demo us. So I've got three different head collars. I've got the Halty head collar, um, I've got the Dogmatic, and I've got a Comfy, which is the ones that we use from B&M's. So Belle, do you want to come here please sweet tap? So we'll start with the Halty. So this is one of the head collars that I don't like um, because the way they're designed is this is not a fitted size um, and it moves on the sides. So when the dog pulls, and I'm going to show you on Bella in a minute, it tightens around their muzzle, which is obviously very aversive and can be very uncomfortable for them. Um, if you're out on a walk, you know, and they've been running around or whatever, you know, you're going to be restricting their mouth, their breathing, their panting, all of those kinds of things, which obviously I don't like very much. Also means um, that it can rub on the top of their nose. They, you know, they can get these horrible sort of marks and scars on the top of their face as well, which isn't very nice. So we're going to show you on Bella. on the other side of the room. Good girl. So we're just going to pop it on her nose. There we go. Flips around the back of the head here. There we go. So basically, as I say, what will happen is if she pulls, the lead's attached to this, it pulls this tight on her nose. You can see here, look, she's getting this bulge on the lips, um, obviously, which isn't very nice for her. Um, you can see from the way her ears are, she's not very happy about it. Um, it's not very comfortable for her at all. Um, and, uh, and yeah, she's, she's not a big fan of that. Um, they're also not very padded either, which is going to leave them open to getting sort of rub marks and things like that, which again isn't very nice. Um, the one good thing about them is, is they've got this bit here, which stops it riding up into their eyes quite so much. Um, but yeah, again, you know, not, not the best. Uh, the next one we have is the Dogmatic. So a lot of people um, get the Dogmatics because they think um, they're gentler on the dog. Um, I mean, they are very well built. They're very sturdy. They're very robust. Um, and they, they again, they have these side parts so they, they shouldn't ride up into your dog's eyes. But they still have the attachment on the bottom here, um, which is where you clip your lead. And if you look, that feeds through these two hoops. So again, if the dog pulls, this gets smaller and smaller around the dog's muzzle. And obviously when they stop pulling, it loosens back up again. Um, so again, you're restricting the breathing, the panting, you know, everything else um, about them. It's not a fixed size for the, the head, um, which again, I don't really like. Um, this one's actually quite big. Um, none of these, neither of these are ones that I've bought. I've, um, uh, to, um, what's the word, confiscated them from clients <laughs> um, and, and I advise them to get sort of different equipment to use. Um, so this is probably going to be miles too big for Bella. So Susie, come here, mate. this go. So we'll show you on this. Come on, this. <laughs> come here, boy. Come on, baby. Oh, you're having a stretch. Oh, come on, gorgeous. Zeus has got a bigger head. Come here, Susie. Come on, baby. Good lad. Thank you. Yes, mommy, what are we doing? No, don't lie down because no one can see you. That's silly, isn't it? He's upside down. Right? And you can just, yeah, you can see his feet sticking up. Come on, get up. Come on, what's this? You gonna get up? Come on then. Come on. Up, up, up. Thank you. Good boy. 
have a biscuit. So again, we'll just show you on Zeus here, that pops that on his nose, this goes around the back of his head. So here again, as you can see, when he's not pulling, that's fine, you know, nice and loose, it's not, uh, not tight at all, but as soon as you start to apply pressure, again, you pull it, it gets tighter, um, and you start to restrict that ability to open and close the muzzle again. Um, so again, not really a big fan. Although they are much better built than the Holty ones, they're much softer, they have a lot more padding. Um, it's just that restriction around the nose um, that just isn't isn't great. So, so, so the last one um, is um, the comfy um, head collars. So the reason I like these is because they are, as you see, the sniff now, baby. <laughs> I can't do anything with you in the way. Um, is because they are a set size. So the muzzle part is a set size. If the dog pulls, doesn't matter how much pressure I put on that, it doesn't change the size of the nose part. So you can set it so that they can open their mouth, they can pant, they can eat, they can take treats. As you've seen with Millie, she can pick up sticks and all sorts of things with it on. Uh, it doesn't impede their muzzle in any way, shape or form. It doesn't restrict them at all. Um, and if they pull it, it doesn't clamp them down. The only thing it does, it just gives you control of the head. So just like a head collar on a horse, it basically just takes the power out of the body. Um, obviously dogs, horses are the same, you know their power comes from their legs especially their back legs so if you've got them in a harness and that's fitted around the chest for example they can throw all of that weight and push with those legs into the harness and it's an awful lot of power and that's obviously why harnesses are used for pulling and things like that because it's the safest and the best way of getting the power out of, of obviously the pull for the, for the animal um the head collar obviously um it, it basically transfers all of that here um and they the kind of if they pull you just turn them around, it just brings the head round because the head's not going to go anywhere, the body's trying to go so that they're just going to pivot round, uh, which gives you much more control over them uh, whilst it's still being safe. So, Bellby, come on Bella, Bella come, Bella come on, she's kind of got comfy in the chair again, Bella come on, come on, come on, never mind scratchy scratchy nose, come on, Bella come, stop scratching your snoot. <laughs> loose she can open her mouth she will for me Millie get out of the way <laughs> you can open your mouth you can open up good girl so she can open her mouth fine no problem um, if this gets pulled you can see here it's it's not it's not closing around her mouth at all um, it's still you know this I can still put my whole hand in there um, so there's no no compression around obviously the muzzle um, again it's got the bits on the sides uh, which you adjust um, so they're adjusted with velcro and um, so it keeps it away from their eyes Bella stop putting your head down on the floor um, yeah so it's it stops it um, obviously rising up into their eyes or anything like that um, and they are quite padded as well um, they've got a nice soft padding underneath here um, so it doesn't rub on their faces as you know um, I use them regularly with my guys um, and they've never had you know they don't have any any rub marks or any any issues on their noses um, from them or anything like that so so those are um, sort of like the things to look out for with the head collars the last one um, is I don't actually have one of but I've seen quite a lot of these and I really really dislike them um, I'm gonna grab a lead and I will basically make um, what they look like give me just a moment here we go so I've made one with this leash um, and um, I'll show you on Millie so this is what commonly get called a figure of eight lead basically what it is it's a slip lead that they have decided they're gonna put the slip bit over the nose they then put the lead around the dog's neck and feed it back through so when the dog pulls not only does it pull tight on the muzzle it also pulls tight on the neck which is horrible um, incredibly aversive yeah it's going to stop your dog pulling but it's because it hurts and it feels horrendous your dog is not going to be happy they won't be able to open their mouths they won't be able to pant 
Um, it does also leave it open, obviously, to riding up their face as well. As you can see, Millie doesn't really like it. Um, but yeah, it's it's not not a nice um, not a nice design of head collar at all. It's probably the worst ones, um, but I'm seeing them increasingly uh, more often. Um, but yeah, so they are they are not not a nice one to use. Um, yes, I'll take it off now, Millie. I know you don't like it. Um, but yeah, so they call it a figure of eight because it makes a figure of eight shape. So you've got the slip bit around the nose and then the obviously the other bit that goes around the neck. So it's like a, an eight shape. Um, but yeah, really bad. Um, don't, don't use those, please, at all. 